When will these young adult novels stop being turned into films? Could that happen, please? Please? <laughs> Allegiant is the third installment of the Divergent series. We have a lot of people in this film. I'm not going to talk about who's in the cast and who's new, but I really don't give a slight sh about what's going on in this film. In this film, Triss, played by Shailene Woodley, and her crew escape from the ruins of Chicago. They go over this wall that's been blocking off Chicago for like over 200 years. They find this new wasteland, future heroic type of place and then they learn some corrupt stuff and then I don't know how to explain this to you people. I'm I'm sorry. I, I just don't care. I remember when the first one came out, I was not interested in seeing it because it looked like a carbon copy of Hunger Games and it just didn't look like that great film. I love Shane Woodley. I don't know if I've ever re reviewed a movie with her. If I haven't, then I'll just say this. Shane Woodley is one of my crushes in Hollywood right now. I think she's an incredible actress. I think she's beautiful. She's massively talented. And then I saw the first film. I didn't see it in the theater. I watched it on cable. And I'm like, it was whatever. It was eh. The second one comes out. I thought Insurgent was pretty mediocre. It was a boring film. So then we have Allegiant come out. This film is such a downgrade from the first two films that I don't know how anyone could like this film. And you could clearly tell that I was not a fan of this film. I hated this film. I thought I thought this film was horrible. I could not stand the, the atrocity that was put in this film. This film to me was lazy filmmaking. 101. It doesn't make any sense. The writing is atrocious. The direction is bad. The acting for the most part ain't good. The, the effects are horrendous and just the story is all over the place and it's incredibly convoluted that it doesn't make any sense and you have no idea what's going to happen in this film that it just infuriated me. I wanted to leave the theater. Are there some positives? There's like one positive and that's Shane Woodley. Like I said, she's been the saving grace of this entire franchise since the first film. She, in my opinion, is the best thing about this franchise because she's better than these films. She can do so many better things that I don't know why she's in these films. I really don't. And that's the only positive. She's great in this film. She's excellent as Triss, but she's the only one who seems to care. Everyone else? I don't even think gives a damn about being in this film, honestly. And they're all pretty mediocre. And the new people, including Jeff Daniels. Well, I remember when I heard that he was coming on to this, I'm like, first of all, Jeff Daniels, why are you coming on to this franchise? But I'm sure he would be some redeeming quality. He would be one of the redeeming factors to this franchise. He's not. He was actually really bad in this film. His character was very weak. I, I mean, I have an idea of where his character is coming from, but his character is just so cliche. He just played off as like a President Snow from Hunger Games. He tried to rip off that character. And I'm not blaming Jeff Daniels. I'm blaming the writers and director of this film. The direction is horrible in this film. The direction just seems so bland and bleak. It's horrible. The writing is atrocious. It's like the cliche young adult stuff. And this movie honestly reminded me so much of this last Maze Runner film that this should have been called Divergent Colon the Scorch Allegiant. And the effects. Oh my god, the effects are horrible. There are so many sequences in this film where I'm just like... So noticeable. And the screen screen is noticeable in so many scenes. They have a high budget. They could have done so much better with the effects. I mean, did the effects have to be the greatest ever? No. But they could have been the least serviceable. And they weren't. They were so bad that I was, like, shaking my head when the first big VFX sequence happened. And the action sequences, there's only one that I thought was serviceable. But everything else was just really bad and kind of shaky cam type of thing. I don't like shaky cam. I don't know why every film tries to use that. Stop using that. Okay, it's not going to work for every film. The only filmmaker that's able to use shaky cam very well is Paul Greengrass. When you watch the Bourne films, or Green Zone, or Captain Phillips, he knows how shaky cam works. And he uses it as an art form. In a movie like this, it's used as a gimmick. And it needs to stop. Like, right now. But the story made no sense. Nothing interesting happened. I was bored out of my mind. I wanted the movie to end. It dragged, it was like two and a half hours long, and I wanted to sleep. Legion. F*** you. I don't want anyone to see this, but of course it probably made a lot of money this weekend. When I went, the fear was packed. I don't think anyone was interested after like five minutes, to be quite honest, because no one was like, yay, or oh. Everyone was just like, oh. No one gave a slight damn about this film, so Legion.
It is horrible. It's one of the worst films of the year. Do not go see it. Don't support it. Shailene Woodley, I love you, but never do films like this again. And there's one more Divergent film coming out next year. It better be a decent film, because if it isn't, then I I don't know what to say. Allegiant gets a D-. minus. Guys, tell me down below what you thought of this movie. If you saw it, and if you did see it, I'm sorry that you went to go and suffer yourself. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.